lives are full of up and downs and breathing snakes you also get those downs and this is one of them Yeah, this is not going to be an upbeat video and I understand that I'm not upbeat, but why I'm bringing this video to the channel is because when we started the channel, the only reason we started this channel is because we want to bring you guys up with us in this adventure. And that means good and bad. And we're just going to be straight up and honest and straight up tell you what's going on. And this is why we're doing this video. A clutch that I was anticipating. Clutch out. It's our fourth clutch since we started and it's the, last, the, the worst one we have time so but here we go all right guys this is now this is a super russo the leucistic complex and this clutch was followed by him i want to also create snakes that are just not for breeders also i like the idea of helping people that are loving these animals or help them like discover the love for these animals you know what i'm saying so i also like to do some breeding for pets for people just learning or starting yeah you're gonna have people ask you more questions but i'm okay with that because i love being part of, of growing the love for these animals so with that said she was bred, he was breeding a lesser. She was always over 1500 grams, over two, two years old. So it's not like we rush nothing. This is her. This is a lesser, supposed to see me. That is all this ass. And um, yeah, now. Not a static at the mo you know, at the moment. I, I, it is what it is, right? You get the good and the bad. And as you seen the picture on the thumbnail, the clutch was full of bad eggs. One blue bag and one egg over 122 grams. So we were hoping that hey, hopefully that egg will be the one that gave us that white snake. Let's put it down. The blue bag, we. We checked it, really, really didn't have no veins. So we still incubated, just being hopeful, but we were really understanding that we it's, it was not gonna be good. Two, about two weeks later, it was moldy. We took it out, I threw it away. It was separate from the other one. So we were just having one egg. It was 122 grams, huge egg, full of veins though. And uh, here it is. Today is day 50. Two. This egg has in just having so it just doesn't feel like this. You know what? There might be a snake in here. Yeah. I just don't think that's a that's a that's alive, guys. I'd be straight up honest. By this time, this egg should be full of being a big snake. Just day 53. No, I just cut it already. Let's just cut it. I don't think there's nothing. If there's a snake in here, I could feel something. It's not alive. Oh, guess what? Cut it and you'll find out. And 
there's actually a snake in here. Definitely not white. It'll be interesting to let her come out. Well, we do have a snake in here, as you see. mess with it too much but definitely not a bell it is a snake and it looks good so that's a good thing this snake has been sold to me to mail as a super russo and that's the least we should have is a russo mama is sold to us as a Sini Lesser. So it's obvious that she didn't throw out Lesser because Lesser and Russo would completely be a white snake. I wonder if that could be a Russo Sini. That'd be cool. Well, better than what I expected to be honest with you guys. I, I didn't think that egg was gonna have nothing. Bye bye. So, yeah. better than what we expected. Not a white snake, but. I told you there was a snake in there. Russo. You're so saying it could be cool. Anything baby? Like always, nope. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm a little bit in better spirits now. That is a large snake in here. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> and um, definitely not a white snake, so it's, it is what it is. It is a good day because I was expecting worse. So I'm a little happy. Just. Let's keep on going and let's keep going and keep pushing and keep on keeping on.